What's up, guys? Uh, good morning. Uh, I wanted to bring this to light. I've, I've been talking about it a lot. Um, I, I've mentioned it, you know, in a lot of my uh, videos. I've never really brought it up kind of more in depth. Uh, but this is something I think a lot of you guys could benefit from or something maybe you've not thought about. Um, it, it's something that I really wasn't even aware of until probably last year sometime. Um, maybe some of you are already consuming it and have thought about it and like, oh, you're stupid. This has been around forever, uh, which that's fine. Uh, uh, but it, it's, you know, just a good food in general. But I think for bulking, especially, this is one of those things you can sneak in there and... Uh, if you don't have the biggest appetite, it's something that can be a, a calorie booster. Um, and, and this is not just like adding empty calories. This is adding calories with some decent nutrition behind it. So it, it's hemp hearts. Um, and <clears throat> per, per serving, it's about on par calorically with peanut butter. Um, I think there's like a 10 calorie difference between the jar of peanut butter I've got at home and and a serving of this and, and the, the three tablespoon, 30 gram serving of hemp hearts, uh, it, it is minuscule. Like if you were to put it in oats or yogurt or blend it in a smoothie, you're not even going to notice it. You could probably sneak two servings in to any sort of food like that. Uh, you could sprinkle it on, you know, a bowl of cereal with milk. Uh, and you're not really gonna notice it a whole lot uh depending upon the flavor profiles of everything else and the clashes and stuff uh but as far as it not being high volume uh for the calories it's not like 30 grams if you poured out 30 grams of hemp hearts there, it's really not a lot there and it's almost 200 calories and it's the, the macro breakdown for you know a plant-based food um it, it is a seed i guess uh, so it's 15 grams of fat and 10 grams of protein. So it, it's almost like a fatty meat, uh, in terms of how it macros. Uh, there is one gram of carbs. It's fiber. I don't know if any of you guys are low carb or keto or anything like that. Uh, this would certainly fit the bill. Um, you know, good fats, bro. Uh, omega threes and such. Uh, it's got a pretty decent micronutrient profile. You got magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, uh, a good amount of thiamine, a uh, little bit of B vitamins. Um, they're iron, uh, the ever elusive potassium. Uh, it's got 8% of your RDA, uh, which, you know, potassium is one of those things that uh, you, it's hard to really eat enough bananas or potatoes or. Uh, something like this, uh, and, and get your potassium in. Uh, so, so a lot of people are on that body armor train and drinks like that or primes, uh, that they, they're a good potassium supplement, uh, especially like the light versions. Uh, so you can get potassium without the calories. Uh, but this, you know, that 8% doesn't sound like a lot of your RDA, but, uh, if you look at a lot of different foods and their servings, uh, it, it's, it's kind of on par. So I would count this as something that it is, is a good little boost uh, to help you get potassium in as well. And like I said, it's something that, depending upon what you're using it in, even flavor-wise, it's got like an earthy flavor. It's got some texture to it. Kind of nutty. Giggity. Uh, but I don't really, to me, it's not as nutty as it kind of advertises itself as. But again, it's it's... Macros are like that of a meat. Uh, so uh, if, if you're plant-based, plant-dominant, shout out Alex. Uh, this is something to get more calories in. Uh, easy calories is the big thing. Like easy calories with a good micronutrient profile. So may, maybe think about picking some up. See what you can do with them. Be creative. Tell me what you do with them if you eat them. Like where do you put them? Like I, the, the main places they go for me is uh, either an oats or yogurt. Those are my... Two favorite things. I get a uh, Chobani sugar-free yogurt uh, when when Kroger's out of the store brand. Uh, Kroger store brand's fucking great. But I get that two-pound tub of yogurt. That's only 350 calories for the whole tub. Uh, and Sugar-free, fat-free. Uh, and I throw these in there. Uh, it's added fat, added nutrients, added protein. Um, and it's, it's pretty legit. So let me know what you guys are doing before I keep rambling. Peace!